everybody, want to wheeze them here. Long time no pool table, uh, getting things cleared up, set up for Skyliner Supercharger dropping this weekend. That said, tonight I made the rounds for the first time in a long time. I've still never ever personally seen the Air Element Minis. Uh, I've seen the Buddy Pack, you know, with uh, Jet Vac and Pet Vac, but I've never seen Breeze package with Jet Vac, Pet Vac, I should say. So, um,. It's kind of sad, but oh well, uh, what can you do? Uh, anyway, uh, sadly none of the stores had like prepped for superchargers yet. I usually make my runs Thursday, but there's football back, and so I kind of, you know, tweak my schedule around that. <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, nothing, I mean, GameStop doesn't really have much prep. They'll just kind of move pegs around. Uh, Target had, which my Target's a bad example, pretty much anything. Um, so they weren't prepped. Usually I can get like, you know, the pegs and the name tags and kind of see, get a feel for what everything might be. But, uh, this past Saturday, Toys R Us had their little demo day from 12 to 2, which that's just a super convenient time for people that, you know, don't eat lunch or have stuff going on the weekend. And so needless to say, I did not make it there, but I did swing by tonight. Uh, I was actually, I'm really hoping to find the 30th anniversary Mario Amiibo. And I thought that was something that they would produce in mass quantities. And silly me, I have overestimated Nintendo once again. Uh, been doing that a, quite a bit here lately. And uh, nonetheless, though, I found Bowser Jr. I was kind of shocked by that. I picked him. I couldn't resist that. But uh, anyway, I was big into the Amiibo, and then I just got burned out on stupidity. And uh, kind of lost interest in it. And then there's some characters, though, that, uh, you know, I would, given the chance, I would love to pick up. So... Uh, basically, if I see it, I should probably buy it, because otherwise, my best bet is to import something from Japan. So, and I'm not going to do that. I never pay more than retail. So, uh, what we did, though, at Toys R Us, in addition to that, I scored this, which actually was probably a way better deal than the Amiibo. Although I did use a 15% off coupon that I don't think should have worked on the Amiibo. So, uh, suck that, corporate America. That said, Drive Evil Crazy 9 2015. This is the 15th. We are five days away. What is on my hand? A blister. Wow. Anyway. <laughs> There's the action. Stores open early 8 a.m. Now, this is important. If you're somebody who has to compete with nut job people that do nothing aside from camp outside stores like this past Friday at GameStop, Toys R Us, and Targets across America to buy stuff and sell it on eBay, then you'll probably want to go there early. If you live in an area that doesn't really have a whole lot of that, you've got a few days You'll probably be okay. Uh, the good thing with Skylanders is they actually produce stock. Unlike Nintendo, this is a game where people crank stuff out because they know people want to buy it. So we have that going for us. But uh, there's a few stores that open at midnight. I don't even know why they really advertise that because it's like a fractionally small number of stores that said midnight to me would be fantastic i would rather be out at midnight with the nut jobs in the world in the night time than the crazy people in the early morning hours so uh, they might have strange colored hair and mohawks but they're usually usually nice people uh, once you get to know them plus i feel like the bums that sell this stuff on ebay are less likely to be out at midnight but I, I could be wrong, I don't know. Main thing, though, if you're looking to save a little cash, these should still be available at Toys R Us you missed out. Now, they're having some killer deals. If you're just getting into the game or Trap Team was your first game, really pretty solid stock on everything, of course, outside of your usual, you know, uh, no-shows. But uh, two bucks... <laughs> right there on uh, SSA three bucks on Giants four bucks on swap force and uh, only four dollars each all 1099 okay so you get the feel there this isn't the important stuff but right here 22 bucks Skylander supercharger single figure and vehicle so there are going to be combo packs uh, but if you you know there's not a combo pack perhaps which again we don't know the exact assortments uh, actually, I think I do, but I, I've slept about three hours a night for the last three weeks, so uh, it's archived somewhere in my mind, and I don't care to access it right now, but uh, this is important because say that you get Fiesta and the Crypt Crusher, or maybe you get Frightful Fiesta at GameStop and you want the Crypt Crusher for him, come in, and uh, you could potentially come in and get your spare Fiesta and this for the other path, etc. And then right here, five bucks, any Skylander Supercharger single figure or vehicle when you buy any racing pack. The racing pack 
Uh, should be the C racing pack, so we'll just kind of have to gauge that. So if you pick it up, by all means do this because it's going to save you a lot of money. Note that they're both valid only on launch day, so you need to get out there Sunday. By opening at 8 a.m., though, you're able to go if you're so inclined and get back in time for NFL. So that's kind of what I do. That said, this is the big selling point. This was the big draw. Uh, the Skyliners game on Twitter I actually tweeted the poster. It's not this one it's very very similar this one's kind of stylized for toys r us i don't really want to cover this in too great of a detail because i've got a crud ton of stuff going but i'll just kind of give you a feel for it and again you've probably i assume other people have showcased this or taken pictures i don't know but what's the important thing is right here what i saved for last it is the character list now there was a leak on the website the official skylanders website the day that they updated it, temporarily, for a few hours, every character was available, okay? And uh, I have screen grabs, I have all kinds of information. And uh, I didn't want to make the video because I was afraid, you know, they might, you know, take it down or something. And so, uh, sent in about that, didn't hear back, and so I just kind of let it slide. But uh, now, it doesn't really, it's a moot point because we have this thing. But uh, what I will do is I'll just kind of run you through uh, from the top left to right like a book. So, Dark Element, you've got Nightfall in the Sea Shadow. Uh, we'll slide over here first. Light Element, Astro Blast, and the Sunrunner Astro Blast, again, is that guy I spotted in the commercial for you. But right here, and this is the Toys R Us exclusive, is, of course, the Legendaries. It's kind of a shame they didn't put the Elites on here since they're exclusive to Toys R Us. I kind of wish the Elites would have stayed at GameStop, but... Nonetheless, you've got Legendary Bone Bash Roller Brawl. Stoked about that. Legendary Hurricane Jet Vac. Legendary Astro Blast, and then one legendary vehicle, the legendary Sunrunner. So, coming down here, we've got the Undead Element listed first. You've got the Crypt Crusher and Fiesta, and of course, the previously mentioned Roller Bash Bone Brawl and the Tomb Buggy. That thing is sweet. Uh, you can see it on the uh, cover for the 3DS starter pack. Now, right here, this is the Thump Truck. I found that for you in the commercial as well. With Smash Hit, uh, Frightful Fiesta will be at GameStop. Uh, steel plated smash it will be at best buy now right here shark shooter teraphin with the shark tank why teraphin hasn't had a legendary i just i don't know uh, it's mind-boggling really and there's his supercharged version i think i showed you the bone buggy supercharge that's what's off to the side of each one of these supercharged version again if i were to throw a teraphin in the thump truck it does not look like that <clears throat> any other character is going to be a mundane as you see you know, thump truck, but that particular Skylander is a signature driver, and that's when it becomes supercharged, uh, hence the theory there. Now, Lava Lance Eruptor, I have to say, he, uh, when I first heard he was back, I was like, ah, oh, you know, I was, I was thinking so many other things could have been done, and I have to say, I'm kind of excited to see him with his new moveset. Every time I see him, he kind of grows on me. Uh, he got the burn cycle, which again, that ties in kind of with Frino, but, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm never one to discount Eruptor. I have good memories with him in SSA. So right here on the flip side, Starter Pack Spitfire with the Hot Streak. Uh, so, I don't know how many hundreds of people took the E3 Hot Streak into Toys R Us this past weekend, but uh, confirmation it works in game now. This guy right here I am extremely excited about. Don't know anything about him other than his name, High Volt, and his ride looks pretty sweet. Uh, it is the Shield Striker. There's a supercharged version of it. Kind of reminds me of, what was it, the Green Machine from the Dukes of Hazzard? Uh, pretty cool stuff. You'll probably never see that. That was one of the seasons uh, Bo and Luke were away doing NASCAR, so it was like the other guys. Nonetheless, half of you probably have no idea what I'm talking about. So right here, Double Dare Trigger Happy. He looks sweet. He was incredibly awesome in the commercial. And right there, his vehicle, uh, this is something I wanted to tell you I couldn't really do until now. It is the Gold Rusher. So there's the supercharged version. Uh, there's supercharged hot streak. Coming over here to the right-hand side, we have got Stormblade and the Sky Slicer. Of course, you're familiar with them. There's a supercharged version. And similarly, Hurricane Jet Vac with the jet stream and the supercharged version down here we have super shot stealth elf and the stealth stinger stealth stinger will have a nitro variant that will be at target so uh historically speaking the target exclusives are the ones that you want to rush in for uh there will probably be droves and droves and droves and droves of the legendaries 
The target nitros, yeah. Nitro head rush is really the first one that I can say consistently is like, yeah, you could get hurt. But uh, Granite Crusher, even going back to their timed exclusive on Whirlwind and SSA, uh, that is a tough cookie to uh, crack. Now right here, this is another new character I'm pretty excited about. He's got an Easter uh, variant, which should be interesting. Uh, but it is Thrillipede, and his signature vehicle is the Buzzwing. There's that supercharged version. Coming down here from the race action pack, we got Deep Dive Gilgrunt. And again, I know people are like, oh, Gilgrunt, but I, I mean, he's going to be reimagined with new moves, so you kind of have to give the guy a shot. Plus, he's in a race pack, so it's not that big a deal, but uh, I think Quicksilver Slam Bam would have been awesome. That's just me. I'm sure my nephew agrees. And right here, we've got Eyebrow's brother, Dive Clops. He is, of course, the pilot of the Dive Bomber. There's that supercharged variant. And right here, I'm um, getting a lot of chatter about Splat. People very excited about her. I guess she's kind of the artsy, craftsy one. And uh, her vehicle is the Splatter Slasher. There's a supercharged component on the poster. And last but not least, this is something, again, a lot of people hyped up about. Big Bubble Pop Fizz with the Soda Skimmer. And right there, you kind of got that. So it looks like a pretty sweet little combination vehicle there for him. That is the poster. Again, I totally could not get to Toys R Us Saturday in the 12 to 2 time slot. And I just rolled in there tonight. Uh, nobody working in the department. But, uh, I just found this giant stack of posters and coupons and, you know, uh, pulled a Scooby-Doo and just took off with them in my Amiibo to the register. So, uh, if you were like me and you missed out on the demo, uh, or if perhaps, you know, uh, you just were totally oblivious to it even happening, swing by your local Toys R Us if you've got one. Chances are they'll still have a good supply of the posters. Um... Make sure you get the coupons if you want to go that route. They're probably going to have them out launch day. But just in case, if you're the type of person who likes to have this for either a checklist for yourself, something for the kids to get them excited, hang on the wall, whatever you want to do if you want this poster, uh, now's the time to strike, so keep that in mind. Uh, here in a couple of days, I'll probably go over what I have done pre-order-wise, what my day one plans are, just to kind of help people out. But... Uh, like I said, no activity on the shelves, no activity on the displays. I'm figuring, especially at Toys R Us, there'll be a massive one right there at the front of the store. So uh, I'm looking forward to that. But uh, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. If you're looking for more information like this, I encourage you to check out the Skylander Club form. And not just check it out, but sign up. As once you sign up, you can post your thoughts, share your information, uh, frustrations, excitement, hype. Uh, hey, should I buy this or that? You can then vote not only in the polls but you can also give your logic on the polls i set it up now where anyone including non-registered members can vote but if you vote and you want to explain it elaborate on it you can do that once you're registered that is absolutely free i built it for you to enjoy and converse with other skylander fanatics well you got other sections in there for gaming amiibo uh, nintendo xbox playstation whatever you want to talk about there's a section for it so uh, check it out if you like it sign up we'd love to have you that's it. Like I said, five days. Very, very, very excited for this. And uh, I will definitely keep you posted as I progress. Uh, more videos coming later in the week. Oneaweason.com is my personal site. You can follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, circle me on Google+. Plus. And uh, like I said, if you missed out on the 12 to 2 time slot, swing by Toys R Us. If you don't see them sitting out, uh, just ask somebody. They should have plenty in reserve for you. So uh, that is that. I'm going to go crank out some gear shift upgrades for this Tech Tuesday. And I will catch you back for more Skylander Superchargers news.